It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Pittsburgh Steelers coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Acrisure Stadium on the north shore of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on their in-state rivals to the west, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is the 12th year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Harris starts to drive on the ground. Pass the 20 for a short gain, second down. From the 21, here's second down and seven. They go play action with Wilson. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Now a first down carry for Harris. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now here's another carry for Harris. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after time. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, 
They'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a really difficult task. So here are the Eagles now, backed up to start their first drive. They're led out by the second-year pro out of Pitt, looking for a big jump in year two, Kenny Pickett. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Pick it backed up into his end zone here. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Here's Pickett. Couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, pick it. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the fortune for third and three. They'll run for the first two with Saquon Barkley. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Wilson. They'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And out across midfield, down to the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy and it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down and it did right there throwing now Wilson on first down that's caught by Marquez Callaway and he's got this down to the 35 the passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh there's another first down Play action, it's Wilson. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Ball on the 30 now, here's a second down at six. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Wilson to throw. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers 
first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Here's Wilson. He gets it complete to Harris. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield, trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Wilson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So he'll be stopped here for no game. And third and eight now. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no game. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. Boswell's kick is good, and the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give him a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. No return there for Harris, and the drive will begin at the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a toss right to Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Oh, 
Looking to throw, pick it. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worth the salt yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now pick it. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Pick it. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. The throw is Wilson, and this is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now it's Wilson. Completes it to Austin. Five yards, now it's third and five. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. They'll come up facing third and five. Now Wilson. but he missed him and it's incomplete great coverage there all around really didn't have many options to throw the football very little chance that that one was going to be completed every receiver was locked up now on fourth down it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides, each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On first and ten, it's Pickett. It's caught, Smith. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second and six. Pick it a look to throw it here. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Pick it back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. 
A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle it for just a short gain. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He finds Austin complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. As they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Now runs straight ahead with Warren. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Now it's Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. That is caught by Callaway. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Wilson. Open man, it's Pickens. And he's got this down to the 35. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. A short one there to fire you. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Ball on the 28-yard line here, second and three. For Wilson, a quick throw there is incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Wilson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Boswell's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal.
and a successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Here's Harris to return it. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6-0 as they begin with a first down. Here's Pickett. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Brian, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Here's second and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight! And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. So they opted to run the ball there on third down on their side of the field. I wonder if that was a called play, or did he check into it? And if he did, that took a lot of guts because on his own side of the field, an obvious passing down, decides to run the football, and they pick up the first down. Give that man a ton of credit. Pick it to throw on first down. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. On third down, Barkley. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short on the first down. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Albert Okuwebunam, the intended target. And that's one of those, Charles, when it works, it looks amazing. And when it doesn't, it means trouble. Yeah, you're right about that one, partner, because that allows us to say, what are you thinking when it doesn't work? Although I know in his mind when he made the call, he was thinking about the amazing part. But in this case, I think the defense, they caught on to this fairly quickly. And they were able to force the incomplete pass. Wilson slow brought in by Austin. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Here's Wilson to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Play action. It's Wilson. 
Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. First and 10, here's Pickett. Quick slam here to Smith. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Back to throw, pick it. Quick slant to Brown. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Now pick it. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and four. They'll run it again with Barkley. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Pick it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And he's got it. Got his man on the end run. Complete. Well, that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. Looking to throw, pick it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Over the middle to Smith. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Oh. 
The Eagles on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. They'll look to throw again. Quick hit here. It's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagle slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Pick it a look to throw it here. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back in the 16-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. Third and 12. Pick it back to throw. And this one is incomplete. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better, had time to survey the field, and still couldn't find an open receiver. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal can change the fortunes of the team. And they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Wilson. Couldn't square up to throw there, and it falls incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now a give. Running left is Harris. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. 
as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Set to punt, here's Cameron Johnston. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Pick it now on first down. And incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. Throwing again. Pick it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. To the air on first down with Pickett. Throw out wide is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Dialing up another pass here. Pickett. He'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Pick it now from the gun here. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. 
Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. This taken in at the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. And he's got room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his O-line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second down and eight. Operating from the gun. Pick it. And his throw is incomplete. His defense trying to do its part. Active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Now the terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The Eagles send out their punter now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. They go play action with Wilson. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Jordan Davis coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of 9. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
And he is caught. And he'll be out right at the 35. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And they'll come up second and seven. Wilson. Got an open man, it's Pickens. Here comes third and about a foot. They go play action now. Wilson has taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. They hand this off to Harris. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. They'll run again with Harris. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there in the first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. On the give, this is Harris. He's able to get six. A nice pick up down to the 21. Here now, second and four. Now it's Wilson. him back to the 34. Jordan Davis picks up his second sack of the afternoon. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. There's Wilson to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. And that drive is going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down. But on that one, the defense rose up and said enough of that. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers field goal try. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now 9-3. to 
So it was a three-point lead at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you've kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They begin with a run by Barkley. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. They run behind center with game one. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. I think Cameron Hayward's ability to take on blocks, hold the point of attack, and get upfield serves him very, very well. What a nice play there. Yeah, he can take on blocks because he's built like a block. Here's Pickett. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. The Eagles send out their punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. They'll send Austin in motion right. Now they fake the jet sweep there and a run instead with Harris. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 60 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Rolling to his left. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has enough for the first. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Completes it to Austin. Seven catches for him now on this last one. A first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. 
throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. And he's brought down. 14 yards that time for number 14. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first down, Wilson. This one finds Austin at right. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Calvin Austin, 41 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. They get the conversion, and Charles, when you only have two yards to go, what do you think of the toss play? Because initially it kind of sets you back a little bit. It does, especially if you get a lot of pressure coming towards you. But if you can get to the edge, if you seal the edge with your blocking, often your tackle or your tight end on what they call the play side where the ball goes, you can get to the corner, and that allows those big guys to get out ahead of the runner. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and we will not see a run back here from Harris here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here see if they can put this drive in the end zone Charles because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times they've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives so are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Pick it. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, but now it'll be third down. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. This Pittsburgh offense led by Calvin Austin running back out. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who's just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. They'll start the drive with Harris, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry.
Second down and six now. They run again with Harris. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Now Wilson. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Second and five. Play action. It's Wilson. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Cameron Johnston now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. First and ten. Here's Pickett. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Pickett on second down. His throw incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The Eagles on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This is third and ten. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. 
They'll start on the ground with Harris. To about the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. On the draw, it's Harris. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. On third down, here's Harris. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to win. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Now if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills guy. We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. On first and ten, it's Pickett. This short throw caught by Goddard. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now a second and six. Now pick it. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Pick it, throw it again on second down. This short throw caught by Goddard. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And a good looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 yard line. 106 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Pick it now on first down. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. Touchdown, Eagles. Grant Calcaterra. 
An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Elliott good on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Starts the drive on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run. Not the one that's going to break for big yardage. But he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. And he got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Wilson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting the game. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Wilson. The Eagles get there for the sack. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Cameron Johnston now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taking it about the 36. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, it usually doesn't work very well, and we saw on that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now they need two. Here's third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. 
Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. And some room to work. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards, the final tally. That's how you draw up the run pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs because oftentimes they're in-breaking routes, but receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly, allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. A quick throw there is incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Off play action. Pick it. two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. It's Pickett by the keeper, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Kenny Pickett scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender, <laughs> QB's last. <laughs> Running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Harris running straight ahead, and he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked off linebacker. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Wilson. That's caught, it's Austin left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Oh. 
So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. They'll run with Harris. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. In there to drop it for the loss, linebacker Nicobe Dean, an outstanding play. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Play action. Now Wilson. Complete to Washington. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. They run with Harris. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Here's second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. Down to about the 22 here. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Oh, a fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They hand this off to Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This is Harris. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? Here we go, first and goal. Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. A 
I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on so you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. This is first and 10. Here's Pickett. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Well, it took us until the final play charge to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers earn the win at home as we say so long from Pittsburgh.